Hi, my name is Ted Batriol. I'm a principal with Statera. In this video, I will provide a high-level overview of the key features of Stratus for Salesforce.com. Once you've enabled Stratus in your Salesforce.com organization, you will see a new section in your account object, your opportunity object, and your case object. This section will be called SharePoint. Within this section, you will have the key integration point between your Salesforce.com environment and your SharePoint environment. Let's start with an account object where the SharePoint site has not been provisioned. This will be the case for all new objects. Once I've established the need for setting up a SharePoint site for this object, I simply click the Enable SharePoint button. Clicking this button will tell Stratus to go out to my SharePoint environment and provision a new SharePoint site. Maintaining a clean site structure is an important part of any good SharePoint taxonomy. So the fact that Stratus maintains this site structure for you is a key benefit. Now that I've provisioned a site, I can see the document libraries available to me from within SharePoint exposed to this account object. Because this is a new site, there of course are no documents in either of these document libraries, account documents or contracts and legal. I can change that by browsing and uploading a document directly from salesforce.com. This is a simple two-click process. Once the document has been uploaded, it will be available and visible from both within salesforce.com and my SharePoint site. Likewise, from SharePoint, I can see a key set of salesforce.com information. I've opened my SharePoint site for this account. You'll notice in the SharePoint site, it pulls over account information as well as contact data, as well as any account activities that have been set up. Likewise, the document that I uploaded from salesforce.com is also available to me within SharePoint. Finally, I can add new salesforce.com contacts or activities from within SharePoint. Those contacts will become instantly available within Salesforce.com. I can also add Salesforce.com activities from within the SharePoint site. Exposing Salesforce.com information to my SharePoint community is a great business benefit. This allows me to see a window of Salesforce information to a broader base community of people. Now, of course, any of the SharePoint users who have Salesforce.com licenses can interact directly with any of the data that's available in SharePoint by clicking the Salesforce logo. Clicking this logo will take that user directly to the Salesforce.com record. Of course, the Salesforce.com license is required to do this. I can do this for activities, contacts, or the account record. Hopefully, this video has given you a quick overview of the key features of Stratus for Salesforce.com. 